just a quick one <laughs> that's what she said just a very quick video uh, this is a phase runner Green, green Technologies, uh, this is going in the scooter this will do 4 kilowatts believe it or not <sighs> don't know how to fit it yet and also behind you'll see there's no monitor stands because the monitors are now out of the way and on the wall and I've got my soldering stuff and over there I've got my thing, what do you call it? Altair thing <coughs> my rework station because I was pissed off with getting it out of the cupboard and having to set the bloody thing up all the time and the solder thing was all up on the top on this shelf up here so it's all now there so I can do more electronics and I can possibly show a lot more electronic stuff because I'm getting into electronics again I'm getting back onto it I like I used to love doing electronics Arduino stuff and I'm going to get back in after I've fin fitted this 96 volts 4 kilowatt lovely I was a bit pissed off the other day because I was starting to build the scooter or I was, I was looking at the layout and everything else and I came across a bit of a problem this bloody phase runner which they don't tell you it's in the small print at the bottom it says if you want to program it, which you're going to have to, to buy an adapter. And the adapter was something like 35, 40 quid for a USB TTL bloody, what's it, adapter. Anyway, I tried, and I don't know where I put them, I tried third three in the end, three FTDIs, I even tried an Arduino. I tried everything to get this thing bloody configured. Bastard. Apparently, this does it. And it's eight quid. Eight quid delivered the same day, quite literally. So, and it also comes with handy. Uh, that's it, although you can't do it, I don't know why they're linked. It also comes with handy adapter. So, I've got a cable. I've got a cable which I used the other half of to make the other one that didn't bloody well work. I don't even know where that's gone. Oh, there it is. This was my latest attempt. Uh, I tried this one, which is a USB TTL adapter, which goes onto that, and that didn't work. And then I tried uh, an FTDI, that didn't work with that cable. That was the last resort. Now I found this, and also instructions. So I'm going to leave a link in the description, it's not affiliate or anything, it's just a link to Amazon for, for programming this bastard thing. Here we go. You ain't going to be able to see anything I know. Um, I've just fitted the phase runner in <laughs> and I've just enabled 20 amp field weakening. Oh, so much smell. Something smells. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's too much. Way, 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 way too much. All right, that's down to 10 amps now. I'm going to leave that at 10 amps, at 20 amps something immediately starts smelling like it's burning and I don't know what, it ain't going to be the BMS and it ain't going to be that this gets warm it's not hot now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put an external bloody programming port somewhere somehow because otherwise I've got to take all this apart every time I want to program it and I don't know how to do it We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I might put it through the hole that the, um, what's it came through? I'll put that through there so I can just extend it. Good idea, Tony. Do that. Regen braking's enabled, throttle's enabled and calibrated. The only thing I haven't done is the e-brake, which I've still got to figure out where. And then it's done. 
If you're thinking of getting one of these phase runners, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Uh, number one, the on-off switch, which is these two wires, the yellow and the white, are actually hidden behind the, sh the heat shrink on the throttle. So you need to pull that back to actually get those and short them together. Otherwise it don't run. I presume that's, if you plug it into the cycle analyst, I suppose that, that overrides it, I don't know. But to get it running, you have to short those two wires out. And the second thing is, is on the brake, the brake is actually wired directly with the throttle. So you've got the green and the blue wires there. The blue one is the brake and the green one is the throttle. Now normally they're wired together, uh, which is that wire there. So if you want the external brake, which is what I want, I had to cut the blue wire and they leave you loads of room. <laughs> and then it has to go off to this one, which is the brake. And also, the throttle and the brake share the positive and negative. So you have to take a tap off. So this is my brake wire, which is actually doubled up. You can see there's two cables going to each, two wires going to each. Two to the positive, two to the negative, and two to the signal. That was because I got some six core cable, and I thought, well, if one gets caught, you know, I've still got another one to go by. Anyway, so what you have to do is take, if you're not using the, th if you're not using a separate brake, you're fine just leaving it as is. Uh, you can actually put regen braking on; it's not a problem. So what you have to do is cut the blue wire and feed that to the signal on the e-brake, and then the positive and the negative go to the brake and the same with the throttle. So that's all done. I'm going to put it all, shoe on everything in somehow and then it's ready. Well it ain't the tidiest of jobs. Uh, I put some neoprene pack in here just to stop it from moving around. This is mounted directly onto the BMS. Uh, hopefully they'll get some heat dissipation between the two. It's not going to be running full pelt anyway, so I hope it don't get too hot. If it does, it does. I ain't bothered. <laughs> so, battery voltages, although this, this pack hasn't been touched for about two weeks, is 2 millivolts, high-low difference. So I'm happy with that. So that's done. Oh yes, incidentally, with VBMS, um, I am still working on uh, the reverse amps, which is uh, not far enough. That's done. The reverse amps. That's all. That's it's it's sort of done, but there are some points that it isn't done. I've got to link everything with, with the logs and God knows what. So, no, it's not done yet. Uh, if I open the throttle. Yeah, that's not done. The reverse amps isn't done. So that that's my Bluetooth, which has got to be squashed into there somehow. Like that. And then that literally goes onto the side with gaffer tape like that. I'm going to put the top on, piece of neoprene over the top just to keep that in place. Although that is bloody close. And then we're ready. Excuse the lighting, because there isn't any. I've got natural daylight coming through the window. Amazing. There's a little bulge there. That's where the program import is, which I've still got to finish trimming it off. Uh, that's just so as I can take that piece of tape off, pull the port out, program it and do whatever I need, because I know damn well it's not going to be right the first time. Obligatory GoPro on the back. Stickers, gaffer tape just to make sure it's sealed because I don't know if it's going to rain in the morning. Uh, I've got to charge it up and then it's ready. So it's done. Finito. Stickers. Everything's done. Oh yeah, and this time I'm going to wear full motorbike kit. Absolutely everything, just to make sure. And I'm going to put the 360 on it, I suppose. <laughs> I'm scared. While I'm on, if anyone wants to buy an SVMC 72150 which has been unlocked, there's one here. 
comes with a programming cable, USB lead, it don't come with a Bluetooth, sorry. Comes with all the cables which have been randomly cut off. Uh, I think they're all labelled, yeah, they're all still labelled. Got high brake, low speed, high speed, E lock, uh, 5 volt brake, that one's the thermos, the thermistor temperature sensor for the halls. There are all the hall wires, there's the throttle. So there you go. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, if anyone wants to buy one, there's one here. It's got a few marks on it, you know. It's been well worn, but it's worked absolutely flawlessly. Make me an offer.